it says oh lord turn not away from the face of thine anointed remember the message of david your servant 7 verse 1 the bible says now when solomon had met the end of praying what happened the fire came down from heaven and consumed the glory had not come the fire came first the fire came down and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices and then the glory the shekinah the very glory of the lord filled the house verse 2 and the priests could not enter into the house of the lord because the glory filled the house the glory fills a room that physically it can block a human being from entering are we together now verse 3 it says when the children of israel saw how the fire came down and the glory of the lord upon the house they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worship and, and praise, praise the, lord, the lord for he for is he good is and his and mercy endures you forever there is a spiritual system that makes our worship both acceptable and profitable are we together that singing is only a very minute part of what we call worship and if we do not understand that system we will spend time calling upon the lord being tired fagged out and never have a testimony of his presence the bible lets us know that every time notice the progression Whenever the glory of the Lord is about to be revealed in a place, the fire of his presence precedes the glory. It comes searching, is there a sacrifice in that place? And here's what the Bible says. In Romans chapter 12 and verse 1, the Bible says, I beseech thee, brethren. Listen careful. It says, I beseech thee, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye offer what? so that sacrifice that the fire falls upon paul says is now you not something Thank you, you for prepare, watching Christian House not Channel. something you bring out of your offering your pocket to put in a basket that that sacrifice when the fire comes is not seeking for money is seeking for men i beseech you brethren by the mercies of god that ye offer your not just your spirit your bodies a living sacrifice he calls it holy and acceptable and he calls that act of offering your body an acceptable service some versions say your reasonable worship so the first dimension of worship is not singing it's not coming to church it's not playing instruments it's a determination within your spirit that my life must be on that altar first your songs are useless when your life is not on the altar are we together now there are many people who sing and the fire comes keeps moving round and there is no sacrifice upon the altar but there are songs there's keyboard playing there's drums playing people are kneeling and shouting and the fire is saying where is the sacrifice where is the sacrifice because when there is a sacrifice then the glory follows the protocol is the 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 sacrifice then the fire then the glory then from that glory all kinds of things begin to happen are we together it is not the song then the keyboard then the instrumentation then the tears then the hope then the disappointment and nothing happens sacrifice sacrifice that you come to a point where you say lord much more than my singing i have come to a point where my life must become a living sacrifice a living sacrifice a living sacrifice then the bible says when your life is a living sacrifice then your words your songs will now become like a calf too it no longer will become music the bible says to offer unto god the calves of our lips not the songs of our lips the calves like the the high priest who have a calf he said when you are singing is the same thing as cutting the animal in the old testament but only when you are a living sacrifice are we together now 
let me tell you this brothers and sisters if worship does not change you then you did not worship are we together now something about worship must kill something within you and resurrect another dimension within you that is proof that he came something about you must die in worship and another dimension of resurrection must start in worship for it to truly be worship you cannot claim his glory showed up and then you were there singing and crying and you get up and nothing is left behind it's impossible when you burn something no matter what it is there must be ashes as a testament that something was once there you can't get up and no 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 when you are in that presence many things are happening through the songs the spirit of god is creating new resolutions within you you are sitting down and your life is being redefined no one is preaching but the spirit of god is ministering to you no there are some relationships i must cut off there are some things that just one song one line of a song is ministering to you much more than a, a sermon that's worship something is happening between you and god i beseech thee brethren that if you want to do business with God and host his glory, the first assignment is to offer your bodies. Your bodies. You know, most times when we worship God, we want to see his power, we want to see his glory, we want to see all kinds of miracles. God is not a herbalist. There is a system. Only dead men can carry him. You see, if you are alive in yourself, you do not sustain the power to host his glory. The sacrifice that sacrifice that sacrifice the bible tells us let's look at one scripture we're going to pray shortly the bible tells us um in the book of matthew let's look at matthews there, there, there are many synoptics variations but let's look at matthew matthew 26 and verse 7 uh, i believe i'm right yes the bible says that a woman a very strange woman in fact i think is the account of of luke or mark that says that woman was a sinner are we together now the bible says that whilst jesus was having dinner there came unto him a woman having a an alabaster box listen carefully the bible tells us that that box was of very precious ointment in fact one of the versions say it was made of pure nerd it was worth a year's wages now that's a lot of money, lot of money. talk to me nigerians, talk to me, nigerians. One, year? one year salary, salary. That's, a that's a lot of money no matter what it is are we together and the bible says that the woman came in fact um this version does not give me what i'm looking for the bible says she broke it broke it not poured small poured small is a scam you plan to hide some the bible says she broke it at his feet and then used her hair which is the glory of a woman to now begin there was a relationship between the sacrifice the hair her tears and the bible says while she cleaned his feet the ignorant scribes and the disciples said ah this is wastage i say you would have given to the poor sold that thing and given to the poor and jesus rebuked them he said don't don't do that this woman is teaching you people a principle she's showing you a way to access my glory that she came with all that she had a representation of her sweat her value her life and say lord you are not just worth my songs you are worth my life the jealousy of god will not accept anything that is not total you see the jealousy of god is an important part of him we must understand fights any reservation you keep who then is worthy of the rest that you're hiding so when God comes and you take part and say, Lord, let me give you this. He says, okay, I see you giving me your finances. I see you giving me this, but I don't see this. So who then is worthy? It's not pride. He searched the earth and found out there was none greater than him. And so when you break your alabaster box, you come before him just as you are and say, Lord, I don't just want to sing. I am offering my life lord take this filth lord take this i am someone who loves you but i have struggles that are even embarrassing me it's a corruption to my christian testimony but you see there is a difference between a sinner and a rebel 
The difference is that one runs away from God while another comes to God. God never drove sinners. Are we together? That you come to him and say, Lord, there is something in me. There is, there is a weight. There is, there is something that corrupts my Christian testimony. Lord, I love you with all my heart, but this issue of women is, is embarrassing me and I'm not ashamed. I come before you with everything. You are the only one who can help me. He sang a beautiful song. I can't remember the song, but what a powerful song it was. That song shifted something in my spirit. Lord, I love you, but this issue of joblessness, I've done the best I know to do. You are, I bring before you everything. And you bring your life with it and present it. And the fire falls. When the fire falls, you lose trust in those things and say, Lord, I lift up my eyes to the hills. I've been disappointed at my intellect and everything, but I come to you in reality. Now you make room for the glory. Here he comes through your worship. Your songs now become genuine because they are a derivative of death. They are not, you are not just singing because you are helping to recite something that uh, you are being called for worship. No. And do you know, under that atmosphere, you don't sing what you want. He now begins to give you the songs to sing. And sometimes, even the songs you wrote will not bless you. It may be one line of an old song somewhere. That's the only song that can capture what the Spirit is speaking at that point. You can sing. You may not remember all the song, but just one line. And you keep singing it like a fool. And people are saying, oh God, change song now. I'm not participating in your worship, but change song and you are not you are not trying to be nice yes you yes, wore a nice shoe and a nice, nice this and you don't even know when you turned in a position that ordinarily you would not have turned your leg is up your head is down you are crying you have become a sacrifice indeed because your reputation died in that worship is god speaking to us then and only then will he come god doesn't just come just because you are born again he comes in his majesty and when he comes it's like an intercourse between a man and his wife when a man comes to meet his wife he leaves her with something there is a deposit are we together now from that intercourse listen carefully every other thing becomes automatic she is shocked that all of a sudden her appetite started changing the things she would want to eat now is changing ah, what is wrong with me all of a sudden she would want to move with people but now she wants to walk alone she has been implicated by an intercourse this is what worship is so when you come before his presence you should leave pregnant with something in two weeks in one month we should start seeing an evidence all of a sudden the friends call you and you say it's one month i came to house of david something shifted ordinarily i would not get up in the night but because of something that entered me now i can wake up 1 a.m on the dot without alarm something wakes you what is that something you see that and he begins to move you and speak to you and does something to your ears washes your eyes with eye salve and you begin to understand the things of the spirit listen brothers and sisters if this is not captured in your experience no matter what song you sing you are not worshiping a worshiper is not a musician a worshiper is not a singer a worshiper is one who understands the dynamics of hosting god if you cannot do that you are not a worshiper singing is only a spiritual instrument to us to help you ascend that ladder but much more than that the foundation of true worship is a the willingness to die to get to that realm called galatians 2 20 that have been crucified with Christ in experience. A lot of people come before God, they worship for hours and go back and after service, they just say, ah, how was the service? Ah, powerful, that guy can sing. Oh. And you watch the person, no pregnancy, you were not a bride, you certainly, it wasn't God that came there. Because if God comes, something must shift in your life look at what the bible did with worship that people can be worshiping and god is somewhere winning battles the warfare dimension that when when the nation the nation of israel were surrounded by all kinds of enemies three kings arose the people began to sing and notice they didn't sing what they wanted 
the formula was given to them you are good and your mercy endures forever and all of a sudden the other side of worship is victory they were not seeing it but they knew something was happening and two enemies which foolish man goes for war with gold in his pocket are we together now and they began to kill themselves and the bible records that the last few helped to kill one another the last person killed himself and left the gold there and when they got there god said no 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 you can't walk twice if you've done one in my presence then the other one is done hmm. listen brothers and sisters i show you a route to hosting the glory of god and the power of god you can find out that when you worship truly at the end of it you will check the fibroid is gone nobody prayed something happened you see that when the fire comes the fire doesn't just burn you the fire burns everything that is not god whatever remains is the part of god Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.